Hey guys, how are you guys doing? It is Aaron here back with another video and today we are going to take a look at the two brand new items that has been added to the Maple Story Arc update. Alright, so the first item. Okay, this is this should be the most anticipated item that everyone wants, right? The Arcing Catalyst. So what does this do? Oh boy. This will allow you to transfer all of these symbols over here to another character, alright? But there is always a catch, as you guys know Nixon, right? So we're gonna talk about all of that later on. So from first off, we're just gonna buy this. So um, currently it's only available in the Union Coin Shop. It requires you to uh, use 300 Union Coins for this. All right? so I'm just gonna buy it. Just gonna buy three of it. So it resets every week. So not to worry about it. Every week you can buy three maximum of that. Then okay, where is that thing? Okay, there we go. So these are the arcing catalyst items. Okay, and let me unequip my symbols over here. Okay, I'm just gonna unequip the first three symbols for the moment. Okay, when I click on this, I can go to any symbols that I want over here. For example, the uh, row of vanishing symbols. Okay. Alright, so this is the uh, basic basic user interface for it and it will tell you what is going on. So basically, you're gonna lose a total of 20% of your EXP for this symbol if you want to transfer to another character. Alright, so currently it is at level 14. Alright, 164, 79% um, right now. So let's transfer it. Okay, it will tell you that okay, yeah, if you want to transfer it, 20% of the symbols will be lost, which are uh, equivalent to 225 symbols. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, if I click yes. Okay, are you sure? Yes, okay. Bam. Okay, so every time you want to transfer your your symbol to another character, you will become an unstable state, which is over here. So this is the unstable state of the symbol, which is level 1, alright? Okay, next off, I'm gonna think on the next one. Alright, this is the Choo Choo Island, which is level 19 right now. It tells me, okay, 20% is equivalent to 484 uh, symbols. Are you sure you want to do it? There we go. Bam! Okay. And the next one will be the... Uh, Latchelin Arcan symbol, okay, similar, it will tell you how many symbols that you will basically lose if you want to transfer it. Okay, done. Now, let's move to the storage. Okay, let's get all of them in. Okay, we got three symbols in here. Let's move to another character. Alright. Okay, for example, this is my another character, just for example, okay? I don't have any other characters that's high enough level to do this, so I gotta have two zeros. So for example, this is another character. So this is totally a new character. Doesn't have any symbols at all, alright? So I'm gonna talk to the storage over here. Get it out. Okay, then we gotta equip it. Okay, are you sure you want to equip it? He's gonna ask you that. All right. So this is the unstable, un unstable state, which is grayed out. So if you want to turn it to a, a stable or a usable state, you gotta convert it. After you convert it, you can't trade it at all. All right. So you gotta buy back, buy back the uh, arcane uh, catalyst to trade it again. So make sure that you are pretty sure that you're gonna transfer it to this character. I click on yes. All right. It will become a stable state. So it's a stable state, you will become untradeable at all. So once you equip it, you'll be level 1. Yes, it will be level 1. You have to re-level all your symbols again, which costs the same amount of mesos, right? Right, it's level 13. Okay, so I'm going to equip this. There we go. All right. Then, okay, I'm going to level this. Okay, I'm broke. <laughs> Alright. I'm broke. It's okay. Never mind. Okay, we gotta equip equip this again. Alright, there we go. 
Okay, I'm broke. Okay, I can't really level all those. I only got 1.6 or 1.7 beyond I forgot. Something like that. So basically, you gotta re-level all your symbols again. Alright? So, yep. And if you like to transfer your symbols again, simple. And equip them. Okay, there we go. You gotta unequip them. Buy them from the shop. Right? Get it over here. Okay, this is the catalyst. Click it again. And it will tell you how many symbols you're gonna lose. 180. It's getting lesser and lesser. Alright? So we're gonna equip it. Yes. Bam! There we go. So we become an unstable state again. Right? So. Yeah, simple as that. Double click it to use it again to change it to a stable state. Yep, that's it. And when it becomes a stable state, it will be always level 1. That is basically Arcane Catalyst. Alright, so they are good and bad. You still have to pay the, for the amount to level it up and you're gonna lose 20%. Make sure that you really want to use it. All right, so yep, that's basically it All right, I forgot to mention about this. I gotta add it into this video over here So if your character Have not completed the full storyline you have not finished the full storyline which gives you the one symbol itself You will not be able to equip the symbol even though you are you met the requirement, alright? Even though you met the requirement, you will not be able to equip the symbol, alright? So for example, I'm level 240 right now. I have not finished Morris storyline, for example. I cannot equip the Morris symbol um, that I transferred to uh, from my uh, previous character. Okay, I have to finish the whole storyline itself. Only I can equip it, alright? Yep, that's basically it. If you transfer to another character which uses uh, luck or which uses dex, it will automatically uh, convert to uh, the, yeah, the character stats itself, alright? So for example, if I transfer this to my Kadena, it will become luck instead of strength. If I transfer it to my Ilum, it will become uh, int instead of strength, alright? Yeah, you got the idea. Yeah. So, this is the new item which is the Ark Innocent Scroll. This item itself will allow you to reset your item stats without tempering the stars, the potentials, the additional potentials. All right. Now we we just gonna take a look at it. Then you find it out. So this is currently the state itself. You need uh, and you need ten thousand spell traces. He has a thirty percent chance of success. Okay, failed. Okay, you got six more chance. My boy. Okay, we failed again. Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright, so yeah, there we go. It will reset the state, but it will not reset the stars. And it will not reset any other stuff itself. Even the additional potential is still there. Yeah. So that is the Arcane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the Arc Innocent Scroll. So compared to. Just for example, I'm just gonna scroll this then. Okay, compared to the uh, the innocent scroll that you have, which is, I'm gonna finish it. So the innocent scroll will remove the stars also, but this it will not remove the star, which is really really good. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to re uh, star force the whole thing again, which costs a ton amount of mesos. All right, so there we go. So that's basically it. So okay, now we are at. Okay, now we are at 5 uh, over here. So this is the normal innocent scroll. If I click it. Right. Let's see if it's success. Okay, they failed. There we go. Alright. It will reset the whole thing. Right? It will reset all the stars itself. So that is basically the innocent scroll. So let's just check another item again. There we go. Let's hope we pass. We got 3 chance. Okay, there we go. This is the Ark Innocent Scroll. Okay, we got two more chances. Oh my goodness. Okay, if it fails, I can't do anything. Alright, it fails, I can't do anything. Alright, so basically you get the idea of it, right? So basically, it will not reset the Star Force itself. It will only reset the states itself, right? So that is basically for the Ark Innocent Scroll. It, it costs a lot. It's like 
10k spell traces, man. <laughs> so I think that's about it for two of the new items that has been added to uh, Maple Story Arc update, right? So I hope you guys get some insights on what are the new items that are coming into your servers in the upcoming months. And uh, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the video comments below. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I miss any of it, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you like it. Sub if you love it. It has been nice, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay awesome, everybody.